Hello, I'm Mark Silver, and today in this video we're going to do something kind of cool. I'm going to show you the future. I have here a receiver, and this is an unreleased receiver, so don't tell anyone about it. See, the name is an IG4. I've got some sample data from it, and I want to process it in CGO. So let's give it a try. Uh, we'll come over here and let's make a new job. Um, let's call it IG4 sample job 01. Confirm that. Sure. I already had a project open. Okay. Uh, I've got some data. Go to GNSS, import, and 7 folder. And, of course, we can import HCN files directly. And it comes in, and it says it's a CHC net... Oh, that's not correct. This is actually an eye gauge antenna. Ah. No antenna model for this receiver in CGO. Well, let's bring it in as an IG3S. And then let's see if we can fix this missing antenna. Now, if you've ever used TBC or Spectra Precision Survey Office, you know that it's virtually impossible to define a new antenna. In fact, I am the only person that I know in the world who's ever successfully defined a new custom antenna in TBC. I'm sure somebody else has, but I don't know them. So, let's go to Antenna Calibration at NGS and let's go to the iGate Mapping Corporation manufacturer and here it is the IG4 and uh, we can right click here and let's save this link as a good name let's put it in the folder with the data and uh, get to the drawing page here because we're going to need this in a second so here and we'll go to tools antenna manager and file and import we're going to import an ATX file let's browse to the folder where we save that antenna definition D temp 7 sure and so now if we go into IGauge gauge mapping corporation we've got an iga ig4 antenna entered here let's make this window a little bigger and let's make sure ah, that we've got enough numbers we've got the l1 offset face center offset to bottom DH. So DH is the distance from the bottom to the rubber band, which is 4 centimeters. 0 0.04. And then we need to put in the diameter, the radius. And that is, I'm going to use the non bumper radius, which is 18 centimeters. 0. Um, 18 and I think that's good save so now we have an IG4 antenna type we'll close the antenna manager and let's see if we can fix this antenna let's see IGA4 and file confirm piece of cake and that's how you enter an antenna into CGO2. Thanks again for watching this video. See you in the next one.